Hello gamers, geeks and gays, welcome back to the Outer Wilds, and this time it's a proper episode. I promise. Last time, obviously, I messed up a little bit, and we had to kind of do a bit of a recap of what I got up to. Um, we discovered the Wandering Stone on the Ember Twin. Um, that was the main thing. We found shirts was the other thing, and I started looking around the Ash Twin. So while there's a few things that are still definitely kind of pulling me in different directions, I feel like the Ash Twin would be a good one to, to kind of delve a bit more into, because I didn't find anything that led me anywhere else. It was all just kind of, oh my god, look at that, oh wow, isn't that pretty, ha. Ah. Um, so today, hopefully, we can try find something in the Ash Twin that, I, I was going to say that's worthwhile, that makes the rest of it sound like it's not worthwhile. Something that might lead us to the next part of the adventure. And if I could get through an entire video without my voice breaking, that would be freaking fantastic. I can't believe how close we are to 250 subscribers as well at the moment. I'm just getting giddy every day when I check and we're that little bit closer. And if you aren't already, by the way, there's about 50-50 to be fair. But about half of you guys watching my videos aren't subscribed. That's fine. I guess. For now though, I'm gonna stop ranting about that and we're gonna get on with the adventure because I have been waiting for this. I've had a, I say busy week, it's not been particularly busy, but um, it's not quite as full on as the last week was when we had like an episode every single day. And this week, I can tell, um, I can feel it, I can feel that I have not been playing as much and I'm missing the game massively. I am actually going to use the auto pilot because I found that really helpful last time and I hate it because I was an advocate for now I want to drive and fly and feel like I'm a Han Solo or something and I'm exploring but to be fair if I was doing this uh, like for real, I'd be doing it. Now, I did say we're going to do the Ash Twin, and I realise the Ash Twin is kind of sandy at the moment. So what I'm going to do instead, I kind of want to see what is, is there anything of note down, down in the depths? Oh, I've landed on the other one, that's not what I wanted. Let's see if there's anything worthwhile down here. Now, of course, it could very much be a case of... No, there, there isn't. It is just the core. And to be fair, that is what this is looking like. It doesn't particularly look like there's much interesting down here. Okay, I, I just, I remember seeing these down here and thinking that it maybe looked like there was like some kind of natural bridges going on. I mean, there are a few. There's one. There's a few more over here. Oh, 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 oh
Oh, is this like one of the ways from the cave where you can get lost? Ah, that would make sense. Okay, okay, we know now. We know. That's quite cool. I'm quite happy with that. Okay, we, we've we've answered that question. <laughs> let's let's get back to the ship. Get back on track. Got sidetracked. Oh. I do like getting sidetracked in games. I, I appreciate I get sidetracked a lot. Um, which isn't a problem. You know, I think unanimously you guys actually enjoy that. That I uh, go for walkies quite a lot. Oh my god, there goes the interloper. Bye, poke! Rest in peace, buddy. Right, so. Buckle up. Hopefully that's given old twinny time to shed a little bit. And then where are we going to go first? I I, I feel like the obvious place in uh, what I'm guessing are the poles. Right, I'm guessing that's what these are. Uh, upwards, 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 up, 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 up. Now the problem there, that's going downwards. Is there another one that is perhaps going downwards? Did I just say that? That was going upwards. It's because in my head I was thinking, that's no good, we need to go down. And I, oh, that's exactly the same. Is it still just a case I'm going to have to wait? Oh, I need something to... Right, I need something to do. Let's... Let's have a look, see if there's anything else that I've missed. Look at this freaking game, guys! Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's a bit I can see. There's a bit I can see. There's a bit I can see. Come back! Take it back! I can see things now. I can see clearly now the sand has gone. So, I know if I park here, I'm going to lose my ship. But that's okay. I'm kind of... There's a quantum moon. There's a quantum moon. Wait. Out of interest, right? Oh, wait, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Right, I've got a picture of it. I, I'm just, I'm just being inquisitive, right? There's a good chance the exact same thing might happen that happened to us last time, where it just kind of disappears. Yeah. Okay. So we can't just straight up interact with it, which is, oh, I can just press R and take a snapshot. Okay. So we can't just fly up to it, but that's okay. I've answered my question because I did kind of ponder about that. Um in one of the last episodes. I can't remember which one it was, but I did kind of start to think where I was like, hmm. Oh, dear. Where am I going? Where am I going? This way. I'm going to wait for that sand column to get out my way, and then we'll touch down. I've got loads of time to explore. I've got loads of time. He says, confidently, quietly, don't get picked up by the sand. This would be pretty unfortunate. Oh yeah, baby. Okay, so this was the one we couldn't get in last time. For whatever reason. I, did, I, just, I couldn't find a way. As we know, I'm really observant and never miss anything ever. I'm going to go the way the sand is going, because I feel like that gives us the best opportunity to see what's occurring. Do a bit of a space jump. Okay. I don't... You must be heavy if you've not been picked up. But they can't be heavy. Because the bones are light. It said so. This is a warp place. Where does this warp me to? 
do I want to be on here? I don't want to be on here, otherwise I won't get back. But that's what this is. This is a warp tower. This is another warp tower, and there should be a scroll. I'm looking for a scroll, guys. Is this a, an actual way up, or am I just running up the architecture? This is an actual way up, okay. No sign of any scrolls. Any scrolls up on the roof, perhaps? Yes! Come here, you little nugget of knowledge. Where was it? It was down. Going down, down, and nearly around. Sugar, we're going and swinging. I'm just gonna ignore the no my. Or I just might start to cry. Friends visiting from the Hanging City. We are planning the Ash Twin project at the High Energy Lab on Ember Twins Equator. I became lost on Embertwin, my gratitude that Raimi found me, but the High Energy Lab is the building with the large solar panels. I'm surprised I didn't see it. I imagine our otherwise immensely clever Konoi would lose his own head if it weren't anatomically impossible. So that's... I'm guessing that is our hint about going to see the High Energy Lab. We have already been there, thankfully. Goodbye, ship. It's been an honour. This is quite ominous. Oh boy. Oh, that's why they haven't been picked up, because they're undercover. Okay, fair enough. Goodbye, maybe Conoy? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think there's enough evidence to tie whoever you are to this place. See how many others we find. Damn, this is just. I can't think of any other word other than ominous, but I know I've already said that. This is just immense. Oh, an actual door. Right. With trees. Where does this one go? Where does this one go? I know they've all got their own destination, they've all got their own unique style. This one must be Timber Hearth, because it looks a little bit like our kind of like the geysers. So they're all slightly different. So I guess then which one? Which one are you? Oh. Brittle Hollow, perhaps? Maybe? Let's stand here. Okay, we do. Oh my god. We do have something to read. Clary. Here is our first delivery. Yarrow. One warp core fresh from the Black Hole Forge. Root is installing this core sibling on Brittle Hollow. As I write this. Yeah, this is a real hollow one. Uh, I'll read this one first because I need to read them in order. I found out, or at least in my head, it seems to be the further to the root of the spiral we are is the first chronologically. So like this one is there, this one's further around, so I should read that one last. My gratitude, Clary, with this Yastrin project is underway. I confess I'm deeply curious about what you and Poke found on the White Hole Station that started this project. Could I visit sometime to learn more? I recommend you do. The White Hole Station is the model for the towers being built for the Ash Twin project, so a visit to the station would be doubly useful. I suppose more precisely I would like to visit the White Hole Station with you, Clary. Yarrow, yeah, stop using this scroll wall to flirt with my sister. In romantic matters, her destiny rivals a neutron stars. <laughs> and go meet her on the White Hole Station. Clary, I'd be happy to explain her findings. 
I wish I could wait here for you to arrive, but the forge on my unfinished work there is calling. I'll return with more materials soon. This is what we need, guys. This is wholesome. So Yarrow and Clary, uh, one of the canonical pairs. So I was correct then. So Poke, I, I, I'm taking it. I believe Poke is a guy. Could be wrong. We know... I don't know. Yarrow. Yarrow could be either. I'm not read anything else about Yarrow. Clary is sister. We know that. Right, so I'm actually like on the floor in here. What the hell? What the heck? This is all very weird. I'm really glad though that I have this massive pillar of sand to follow. Otherwise I would end up going the same way around. Ooh, that was a little bit close. There is a lower level to this. So we'll have to go and have an explore now we we'll go upwards because downwards is still very sandy and abrasive and I'm not a big fan of sand call me Anakin Skywalker this was the building I told you guys about in the last episode that makes me think then is could this be Yarrow and Clary I don't know if I've seen them elsewhere, else I'm just taking my slippers off. Could this be Yarrow and Clary? I mean, it could be any two. No, my, to be fair, I just... I can't go over that mask. The mask design is just phenomenal. I love everything about these guys. They're just... Oh. So, that must mean that... Just being in there. I wonder then, is there anything else? That's where we parked, right? And that's quite interesting. Because there's... Ah! Aha! Right, I, I, this is another thing I think I saw last episode. Well, not last episode, but you know what I mean. Did we cover this? I think we did cover this. Yes, we covered this in the last episode. If not, sorry, lol. Um, I need to find some trees. Oh boy. Oh my god, is there a way through this? Because I swear to god. There's something up there. There is something up there. There is something up there. But I don't have any oxygen. If I had more oxygen, I'd risk it. If I had more oxygen, I would risk it. I didn't know I could shoot through walls. Okay, there is something to read up there. There is something to read up there. I need oxygen. I need I need oxygen. No, you know what? We'll come back to that. We'll come back to it. That that'll be for when we're feeling a bit like a completionist. For now I need to get some freaking trees and I think there was some over at one of these at the brittle hollow one maybe there was a big room with loads of trees yeah it's a timber hearth one it's a timber hearth one it's a timber hearth one, it's a timber hearth one. here we go ah. no no mm. I also... No, 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 because I know it's the thing. There was 
so many. I'm guessing it. So, I mean, we found out in the last episode, right, that the ghost matter is very, in my mind anyway, is very clearly what ended the Nomai. Which is obviously incredibly unfortunate. Um, as far as I can tell, that's what happened. I, I haven't seen any other evidence to say that something else killed them off, so I'm I'm guessing it must be it must be that. Ah, stop picking me up, please! Stop picking me up, I say. There seems to be less to read here than I was expecting, and I know for a fact I'm missing things. There is no way in hell that I have seen everything that this planet has to offer. There must be a way inside. You know, there, there's got to be a way inside. But, ow, but they made it specifically so you couldn't get inside. They did that. that that's the thing that they did on purpose to protect the project. There's got to be a way. There's got to be a place where they nearly, you know, like the last place they were. Because this, like I pointed out last time, this rock, this is the colourful rock from home. This is from Timber Heart. So where was the last place they came up? Because there has to be. Right? This is an all... This is an all... Artificial. Not the whole planet. A lot of the planet is artificial. But not the whole thing. There's no way. You can't do that. Even Nomai, I don't think, are capable of creating an entire planetoid. I could be wrong. It appears they're capable... Of a lot. But in my mind, at least now, we've, we've done... We've done the Ash Twin. And... Yeah, I, I feel like it, this is... To me, it felt like the Ember Twin was sending me over here. Or in actual fact, I feel like... This is sending me there. I was hoping for answers. I was hoping to find out more about the project, about why they need the 22 minutes. Because we know it's a loop. But why specifically 22 minutes? Like, they asked for that. It wasn't just a, unfortunately, this is as far as we can go, so there's only 22 minutes, because otherwise there's just not enough energy in the universe. They specifically wanted it. And knowing me, it's going to be something really, really mundane. It's going to be incredibly mundane. I know it is. I'm going to be incredibly... Not upset. Oh, there's my ship. Hi, ship. Mwah. Adios. That's still the way you go. Uh, I do feel better for exploring it though. We've we've been there. We've been there, done that. On a side note, if that was an actual supernova, that would be so much more violent. <laughs> like that would be. It would probably actually. Be, I don't know. It might actually be a lot slower than that. No, it'd be quicker than that. I don't know. I'm not a physics major. I don't really know. In my head, an actual supernova would be so much more destructive than that. Oh my god, another one where it's sending the probe. Like, right at us. I wonder if there's a way to just, like, race after that. One time, just, you know, just see that it's coming towards us and be like, Oh my god, that is where I must go. Uh, you know what? 
let us have a few, let's practice doing some marshmallows while we wait for the sun to come back up. I, fun fact, I only ever did schmores and like marshmallows on a stick for the first time last year. That's the first time I did it. Um, I just didn't have the opportunity before and, and I I like marshmallows, so I get me wrong, but I'm not like a marshmallow fiend. So it took me that long to actually have them sitting around a bonfire, sitting around, you know, like a little I don't think it was a bonfire, it was just like just like a little fire in like a like an outdoor almost like barbecue pit type thing. But it was good. Sitting out there with a coat in the coals. That that one was crispy. I don't know if that was a good crispy, but that was crispy. But it's actually quite fun. It, it's something to definitely, you know, do with friends and family. If you haven't had the opportunity, do it once, I would say. At least once. Because it is just it's just good fun. Good fun. I've had a lot of fun today as well, actually. Just look at that. You know what? I don't think I'm even gonna cut to a different ending today. You guys can just have this. Because I usually go after and I find another pretty place to show you guys. It's somewhat related to what we did today. I think this is good enough. I think this is pretty enough. This'll do. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been an honor. It's been an honor to be back. Um, I'm looking forward to keeping up with the content. The next week will probably be a little bit slower on the content side. It's half term now in the UK and with my job, I won't have time to upload quite as often. I'll, I'll be able to get two episodes out, but there might not be um, a Firewatch episode. I'll see. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for the love. Thank you so, so, so much for the support. As always, I have been Sturks. You guys have just been... Well, incredible. And I'll catch you all later for the next part of our little adventure.